Hey everyone, I am Kevin from the Recording Corner, and this is Does It Work? This is the most unpolished, blind tested plugin site and YouTube channel you will ever encounter. I do zero edits, so that way you know that this isn't fake and I'm not looking up the info. I blind test, I'm not sponsored by anybody. I wish I was sponsored by Ooh, coffee, but uh, Dunkin' or Starbucks has not gotten a hold of me yet. Ah, that was good. We'll put it back there like we're not supposed to. Okay. Hey, I got a uh, question that was asked of me, and that was, do I use the software after I review it? So do I take the software and do I use it once I uh, review it? And the answer is, yes, I do. I um, Transit, I actually used after I reviewed it on three songs. And I've also used Vocal Bender and, uh, and other things on here as well. Um, I actually took the, the new audio the Arvox Pro, and I actually tested that on a live stream mix that I do, and uh, it worked out really good for live stream. And I also use the silencer on live stream now for my drum tones. So, yeah, I do. I've actually used and put four of those uh, right into use and uh, in various ways. So, yeah, I do any rate, let's get on to what today is about. Today we are going to cover something that I think is cool. I don't know if it's called Kive Audio or Kiive Audio, but it's K-I-I-V-E Audio. And it's a thing called Enfuse. Let me uh, get over here so I can show you guys what we got. So as you guys can see right now, this is when you pull it up, this is Enfuse right here. This is what it looks like. And what it is, it's kind of for your master bus. You could put it on other things as well. And you'll, I think you'll probably see that. I did take a peek at the presets and it looked like there were other, other things, but I would use this on a mix bus. Uh, most definitely. This is a mix bus kind of plugin. If you guys don't know this, this is kind of the new thing where you run your two stereo tracks through like a mix bus kind of processor. And um, so let's just take a look at this really quick. So this looks like the typical Neve coloring. You got the reds, you got the grays, you got the blacks, you've got uh, saturation, EQ compressor, and stereo imager. Everything that you would expect to find kind of on a, a master bus processor or like a stereo summing uh, kind of box or bus. Now, I don't know if Neve makes this box, but um, I do know that part of the deal with this is that it's also based off the SSL Fusion box. And um, and so, oh yeah, there it is, Fusion F. Ah, so F equals Fusion, got it. N equals Neve, Neve and Fusion. So it's an SSL in a Neve uh, box, does that, yep, oh my goodness, that looks exactly like a Fusion box. Now, here's what I also want to say, SSL makes these in separate modules as well, and they make their own version of this, but we're going to test this one out today, because I like this duality, by the way, this is, this is really cool. That you can you flip it and it changes it to the the different module. I own the fusion and this looks exactly like the fusion, like right down to the buttons, the colors, everything. This looks just like the fusion. I don't own an Eve. Don't know if they actually make a box that looks like this, but if they do, it, it's a nice looking and a sharp looking interface. Now, let's come up. First thing is first. Let's go up to all these little features. And first thing I notice is I can. I can make this bigger, which I'm going to do just a little bit bigger. And since it's thin, it won't interfere with my uh, video. I'll set it above, you know, kind of the video and up here. And I'm going to put it on this track here like a like a mix bus. I'm not going to put it on vocals or drums per se on this video because that would take too long. But we'll put it on the mix bus and we'll try it there. Now, this looks like midside stereo. Wait, that just gave me something stereo. 
Wait, what is this one? Stereo linked. Dual mono. Ooh, that's actually nice. Dual mono right from the interface. And then midside, I would imagine over here. Yep. yep. Uh, linked on, linked off. Oh, okay. Just clicked on it, on and off, on and off uh, mode, NF mode link. So apparently, like, if I turn that off, I don't know what that, wait, turn it off, off. Does it switch? Don't know, whatever. Uh, R, S, and L, A, M. Signal chain. Now, the question is, does this signal chain allow you to switch? Yep, it does. It allows you to switch. Okay, so you can actually switch the way that the signal chain work comes through the processor. So right now, it's hitting the EQ first, the compressor, and then the saturation. That's actually really nice that it allows you to pick the order that you want to go through on this. Uh, 2%. Oh, so this is... Uh, over over sampling like into regular two four six eight the more you know over sampling you have they say that sometimes that that actually sounds better and then your preset list which i already kind of showed you guys with master finalizer silky and wide some vocal stuff guitar stuff and drum stuff not a lot on the presets um, maybe in the future that would be a great thing to add I do like this little touch. It looks like it's mounted up in a rack mount. Oh, there's the product info. Okay. Uh, product info. Yeah, there we go. Ah, nice. Okay. Product info. And up here, I think, is just your, yeah, the registered uh, stuff as well. All right. So let's get into this. You guys have heard this song before. Right now, this is on default mode. And let's hear the song. I'm just going to bump this. Wow. Okay. I got the wheel of death. Thank you. Holy cow, that was quick. All right, let's go like that. There we go. All right, so that's the song we're going to we're going to put that kind of like this is a bus mix and we're going to put it on that bus and we're going to go down through here. Now, let me go over this interface with you. You have your input here and this is obviously you can dial in, right? Your how much or how little. Um I think probably pretty standard. What I was reading, this is like a negative 24, as I say, yep, negative 24 plus 24 on your input. It has a high pass filter that you can uh, high pass this all the way up to 20. The next uh, thing in here is your saturation, and it will give you the Neve saturation or it will give you the fusion saturation. Now, with saturation, the fusion, is really known for like the harmonics from the SSL console, pop, rock. A lot of the albums were made off that. Um, there's a drive and a density, I think, on here. Yeah. So you're driving your density so you can get how the saturation reacts to the song coming in. And then for, for the Neve side, it actually goes to what they consider um, a dark, and that's kind of adds weight to the bottom end, and then you have the red, which is the harmonics up on the top end. So Neve's doing it that way, whereas SSL is doing it with more drive and, and a little bit more density, and, and it doesn't really uh, say what the density is on that as well. Now, the next part is the EQ section, which is very simple, and it should be for a box, and that goes from 30 up to 240 on the Neve and 3 to 24. So you can just add in some top end or you can add in some bottom end and mid range or high, you know, low mids up to about 240. And then you can go like here, uh, the same thing. It looks like 30 to 90 on the Fusion and then a 8 to 20 on the Fusion. So Neve and um, the Neve one and the Fusion uh, model are different as far as what you can add on your EQ. All right. Is that going to give me that stupid thing again? Look at this. It's giving me the 
My computer doesn't like me today, everybody. Y'all should shout at it for me. All right, the next part that we're going to go to um, is the compressor, right, which comes up in here. And your compressor, if you guys understand this, you will know that the bus compressor for SSL is one of the most widely used and world-renowned compressors out there. Like this thing is on so many albums, and there's so many models of this, and there's hardware versions of it and everything else. You guys know that the SSL bus compressor is like the compressor. It is, it is just amazing. Now, the one for the Neve on here is an optical compressor um, that also adds some coloring and different things. Now, what I would normally do on this is probably go more for the for the SSL compressor, but we're also going to try out kind of the, the Neve compressor as well to see what that does. The next thing on here is you have your stereo imager, um, which is minimal max on the SSL side, and space, which is a minimal max on that. And that gives you... Um, Basically, it widens out your mix, so it sounds like it pushes some things to the outside, and we'll mess around with that a little bit. Now, with the Neve, um, it's a widener, and you can do it, obviously, both with the, with the SSL Fusion version and the Neve version. You can actually use that on drums or whatever you want to make sound wider within your mix, and then... Was I wearing the compressor? Well, I should be on the imager over here. Now, the other thing that's cool is it has this um, high-pass filter as well where you can keep your low end more up the center in mono and then just push the outsides in mid-range to the outsides of your mix. So in other words, you're not pushing the entire mix out. A lot of times you don't want your bass to be spread to your stereo spectrum way out here or your kick drum to be out here, like on each side of your stereo, you actually just want that to be more up the center. So you'll dial this in to push things out uh, more in the mid range or even up on the high end, if you want things up on the high end to be pushed out in there. And then obviously this is your output where you can tell it where it wants to go. And then it looks like a power on and off. That's pretty much it for the interface and what it does. But the question is, is how does it sound? Because this, it looks cool, but does it sound good? And that's the test, right? So let's go here. Let's refresh our ears real quick. This is the before. Okay, now I'm going to load a mix bus. And I'm going to say Silky sounds fun. So let's see what Silky does. So first of all, I noticed that Silky is not adding any of the Fusion modules in it. Does does any of them add the fusion modules in it? So sil silky wide. So wide actually offers the EQ, but none of the other from the SSL. And then this one goes uh, master finalizer, which has once again that actually has none of the SSL in it. So what are they using for the SSL? If you've got it, use it right. Aggressive drums. Uh, one for the aggressive drums, dirty drums, uh, mostly for dirty drums. So if you want a dirty drum mix and it's using, see, I love this guys. I love the fact that this is hybrid. It's using the Neve compressor with the fusion, uh, saturation EQ and imager. That is cool. Like that, that can really create some great, uh, great sounds. That is a drum sweetener which is using saturation and compression and then mix and matching the modules. So this is, this is a really neat uh, plugin. Let's go to silky. Let's, let's just go back and see what this does to our mix. This is without it. All right, so it looks like I got the um, the death. So I think what I what I believe might be happening is this could be using some pretty 
intense resources right now. I know my my computer needs, I don't know why it needs an upgrade. It's like an i7 eight core with like 64 gigs of RAM, but here we are. Maybe it's because I'm running things in the background. Hang on guys, I'm also recording with my camera. So let's just quit that for now. That was my Firefox. Is there anything else I should quit down here? No, all right. Okay, let's keep on moving forward. So let's go bypass. That's really wide. Wow, yeah, I can hear the lightning. And what's funny is you could hear it because it's way up here on 574. So you can actually hear the 507, um, is that 7440? 74. And it's actually pushing that frequency out. Let's come back to like 300 and see what it does. Here's zero. Okay, so that was pretty cool. Now let's see what the stereo imaging does on the fusion. Ready? We're going to go minimal first. I got to be honest, man. I think the imager on the fusion sounded better than on the Neve just now. That was, in, you know, my ears, but uh, we'll go back to what they had. And let's go back up. Well, actually, let's just pull the actual original Silky Mix back up here to where they had it. So they have this. They have nothing. So they got the bottom end kind of enhanced on the dark. Well, let's pull the red up. Let's drive this thing. So it was subtle, but you could hear, especially on that vocal, a little bit of that saturation in it. It actually sounded pretty good on that voice. Let's hear what happens when we put on the saturation and the drive density for the SSL. So I actually like the saturation better on the Neve side. So here's what I would do so far. I'd put the Neve here on the saturation. I'd put the stereo imager on the SSL. Compressor I haven't really tried yet. Um, I'm not going to for a second. This is at 110 and it's bumped nothing. Okay. <laughs> Let, what if we take this down no let's yeah let's go down to about 60 and see what we can do pretty good let's try this eq Hold on a second. Okay, EQ, I like both of them. So either one of them would work for what I'm trying. And then let's go to the this compressor. So here's what I'm what I'm hearing um, in my in my setup. Whenever I go to the SSL, it sounds cleaner, and whenever I go to the Neve, it actually sounds like it dirties it up a little bit, more like the mid range kind of like the Neve stuff. That's that's what I'm hearing on this side of things. So let's now go to um, Mix Bus Wide and let's hear what it does on the wide side. Switch, so you can hear where it did enhance it so here's what i want to say about these kind of plugins they're not there to do like drastic changes they're there to sweeten the sound 
you can do drastic. I mean, obviously, if I wanted to like push this way up, you know, I could do drastic. But they're really there just to add a little bit more. So the key is, is to make it sound more radio ready, more like it sounds warmer, fuller, bigger for people who are listening to it. That's what Fusion does. That's what it looks like the Neve does. I know Fusion, when I use it, it does that. It makes it just, it puts that like sound that sounds like a record and it imprints it onto the mix. And that's actually what this plugin is doing right now. It's taking like that sound and imprinting it over to the mix as well. I think this is cool too, because as I'm changing these presets, that's staying the same. That's staying the same. I just want to see if it's moving these around up here. It's not really moving the signal chain too much up on this side. So if you go sweetener, it's pretty much leaving these intact, dynamic EQ saturation. Uh, factory, can we go back to the default? Where's the default? Well, I guess we, oh, right here, default. <laughs> it was like right there. So now we're on default, EQ, dyne, oh, yeah, and then that just switched it back around. So on default, it switches it around, but when you're coming into, let's go fat bass. Uh, you have to switch that back to the the uh, compressor, EQ, and then the saturator there. So it is moving those around up here, the signal chain a little bit. I do like this, that I can move this around and tell it where to go. And I have control over where the signal is going to. That's a nice feature. Uh, mix finalizer, master finalizer. Let's see what this sounds like. So without, let's just turn it off here. You can hear it pumping a little bit on the compressor, so I'd probably back off this a little bit. Yeah, I definitely add some of the. I mean, guys, I actually like this. I love the saturation feature on the Neve side. And let me hear this again. It's actually distorting the signal, the SSL side is on the max. It's a lot of saturation. If you love saturation, this is your plugin right here. That should be their tagline. If you love saturation, by Infuse by our Weird Name Audio. All right, so let's come back. Let's go density. Definitely liked the Neve saturation better on this one. I'm kind of the finalizer mix, so... It's it's really a toss up that each I can see why here. Here's the thing. I can see why they put both of these into one continuous plug in because they both have their merits. Now, I'm uh, I'm pretty much uh, done with this. Uh, is there anything else that I want to try on here? Uh, I think we pretty much are good. Let's go wide mix one more time. I like the musicality of what it's doing down here on this one. So each of these has their own thing. Let's let's come up here again. This actually spreads it out, which is weird to me. It does a negative width. Let's go positive width. Probably uh, 
up, put it a little bit further out like that. Because what, what it's doing in my mix is it's moving some of those keyboard elements out of the way of the vocal and pushing it to the sides out here to the speakers. So here is what I will say to all of you is this. This is the Enfuse in which it's taking the SSL Fusion plugin and then taking a new version of similar plugin modules and making one complete uh, unit in a plugin out of both the Neve and the SSL. Now, I think they've done a really good job at modeling this plugin. Once again, is this revolutionary? Not really. There's a lot of models out there that can do similar. You can add saturation models. You can do this thing with EQ. You could set up your own chain and do the, the same thing. But what I love about this one is it takes two really good units that are used in Pro Studios and puts them into a plugin. And it's only like $99 like right now for this. That is an insane price. The reason why is because if you buy the Fusion by itself, it's $2,200 unless you want to buy mine, which is on reverb right now for like $1,500. But that unit itself will go for uh, $2,200 new. And then on the on the other side of it, the Neve, you're going to spend easily as much in that range as, as well. I'm not sure I haven't really priced that out, but I know what I paid for the Fusion when I bought it, and it was $2,200. So here you go, $99, bucks. you get the sound. You can keep it in the box. You don't have to route back out and then back into your session. That's what I have to do when I want to use it, right? I have to go out of Pro Tools, hit the summing, stereo summing, through the fusion back into into the box and uh and then you know that that's it's not a hassle but it takes it out and gives it kind of you know the hardware sound and then back in here it's in the box and so you can have that sound in the box now how does this compare to the hardware very close it it really sounds very close to the fusion that I own it it is I mean, almost not even enough to matter, honestly, whether you get the hardware or not. But I know people do prefer hardware because there is a certain amount of sound a little bit. I think it sounds, here's what I think. I think the hardware sounds a little, not much, a little bit thicker, but this one was very close. So nothing nothing to uh, be ashamed of if you're using this on your master bus or on your drums. So I'm going to try it on some drums. I'm going to see what it sounds like. I may even try to throw this on the live stream mix at my church. We'll see and uh, and see how that goes. So anyway, if you like this, like, subscribe, you know, hey, your bun, get your friends over. Let's have a party. Let's party it up over here at Does It Work? And uh, man, we are inching closer to that 9,000 subscriber mark. And I think when I hit 10,000, because we really hit those numbers pretty quick, 10,000, I'm going to do a big giveaway, so stay tuned uh, for that. And thank you guys for watching. Thank you for tuning in. Man, I appreciate all the support, the comments, the likes. Some of you guys really have given me a lot of good stuff to think about. Enjoy the messages, too, and some of the questions you ask. Hey, I'm here. If you guys want to ask it, ask it, and I'd be more than happy to answer your questions. So this is Does It Work, and I am out. I'll see you guys on the flip D flip